We are beset by our natural fatal flaws, and none more notorious than that which encompasses our own curiosity, insomuch so that we often forget the old saw about what fate that awaited the metaphorical cat. Or perhaps, in our own hubris, we think of ourselves as human beings far more advanced and superior to the minds of our feline fellows, and imagine ourselves exempt from any similar fate. Oh, what a dreadful misconception that tends to be. Such is often the case in themes of one of my favorite authors, H.P. Lovecraft. Master craftsman of both gothic and cosmic horror fiction who wrote back in the earlier part of the 20th century, Lovecraft is, with Edgar Allan Poe, one of the most influential figures of early American horror. His stories have never been out of print. In fact, he has been gaining new prominence throughout the world in the past 50 years. Several films have been adapted or inspired by his works, and today I will discuss one short film that I happen to have stumbled upon. Actually, it's directed by a friend of mine from my high school days, Josh Thurm. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the estate. The film opens with our protagonist, Howard, approaching the titular estate, which we later learn through letters he's writing to his fiancée was inherited to him by his late father. As well, he's hearing ominous whispers within the estate, calling out his name and beckoning him to join them. We then see him explore the estate and discover another area of the house, locked by a gate. Led by the voices, he wanders through the grounds and discovers his father's diary and a key to the gate of the unexplored regions of the house. As he continues his journey, he discovers the secrets his father attempted to secure from the rest of the world. Needless to say, the sh this short film is fantastic. The way they captured the, goth the gothic atmosphere, the foreboding presence, the quiet hint of dread, the use of the subtle sounds of the footsteps, the way they incorporate the slow pace to keep the viewer in suspense, especially during the third act, and Howard is exploring the unexplored regions of the estate. Low-budgeted the film may have been, I couldn't shake the feeling that something dreadful was lurking within the corridors, waiting to attack. I mean, I genuinely felt the way I feel while reading the works of H.P. Lovecraft himself and I could feel my blood curdling with every shot as the film progressed. Now, there are a few things I probably would have changed, but these things are few and barely worth complaint. For instance, when Howard enters the secret library and discovers the Necronomicon, I probably would not have gone with the prop that bared a resemblance to the one from the Evil Dead franchise. I mean, granted, Evil Dead, like the estate, is heavily inspired by the works of Lovecraft. However, when I saw the thing attack Howard, I realized it was also the same manner of another 80s cl horror classic, The Unnameable, which was also inspired by another Lovecraft story, and I realized that homage was being paid, and I promptly told myself to stop complaining to lighten up. Overall, minor complaints aside, a brilliantly made short film that pays homage to the works of a great writer and provides everything a fan of gothic fiction, such as myself, would be looking for. By the way, I'm providing a link to the short film in the description, should you wish to watch it yourselves. Hey, if you enjoyed this, click like and subscribe to view more. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video and I can't really say when the next one will be, but hopefully this will be the beginning of my returning to the routine. However, either way, if you'd like to, comment below. After all, I would love to hear from you. I'm Mike, and this has been a Penguin's Rock production.